Hey guys! Welcome to this third episode of this series, the FA Salary Talk series. Today, we are going to talk about the salary of international flight attendants who are mostly based on the Middle East, okay? So, all right. Uh, like I said, please refer to the first episode of this series because that is where I explain how the flight attendants get paid and that way you will understand bakit range yung salary and bakit iba-iba siya per month. Alright, so let's talk about Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways, they earn about um, average, you know, you could earn depending on your flying time and your layovers destinations depending on that you could earn anywhere from 60,000 to 100,000 pesos a month that includes everything okay and when it comes to emirates it's about the same all right uh, the difference with um, qatar airways is that they don't give you your allowance right there and there in the hotel in the destination that you go on you have to pay with your own money and then you will get your layover allowances on your sweldo by the end of the month so kaya lumalaki talaga yung allowance mo um so emirates i'm not sure if they give it sa hotel or not but it's almost the same basically lahat ng middle eastern airlines will average that much it just depends on how they divide it how they give it to you but average take home pay mo is the minimum 50,000 pesos to 100,000 plus depending sa flying time allowances bonuses that you get also with etihad airways <laughs> Um, I think it's about uh, yeah 60 to 100 I think with Etihad Airways mas malaki sila ng konte, but I'm not so sure but that's what I heard mas malaki yung allowance nila or yung pera na natatanggap nila kasi depending on your rank then if you become a um, premium galley crew or if you become like a business class crew mas mataas yung salary mo maganda yung structure ng kanilang payment system as well as with uh, emirates and qatar so yun also if you become supervisor mas malaki syempre yung sweldo mo than a regular crew mas malaki than 50 to 100,000 so with Omen Air, yeah, somewhat the same. Ganun lang din. Pero um, usually, ano, 50 to 80,000 pesos. Depending on the factors that I've mentioned on the first episode of this series. Air, Gulf Air, uh, I think it's also the same. Minimum, minimum 50, maximum around 100,000. So, yun yung mga sweldohan sa parts ng yun. Ang maganda sa Middle East, there is no tax, so you get your full salary talaga. Then you have lots of allowances, lots of perks. Then when you work for other airlines, for example, um, Korean Air or ASEAN or when you are in the United States, they have taxes. With the Middle East, no tax, baby. Everything is tax-free. <laughs> so that's why I like working there. So ayun, um, I hope that you don't quote me on this salary. This is just something that I learned through people that I talk to. It's not from the company itself. Of course, they could change their salary with their own discretion. It's not like up to me. <laughs> and I do not take any responsibility or liabilities by the information that is found in this video. And yeah, that's it. That's all the disclaimers. <laughs> and I hope that you guys learn a thing or two. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe on this channel if you haven't been already subscribed. I will see you guys on the next episode of this series wherein we are going to talk about the different perks on top of the salary that a flight attendant gets those are like the free tickets the free what uh, transportation and so on and so forth so i will see you guys on the next episode and i will fly with you soon